Hi all, in this video we will see how the sequence generator transformation will work in Informatica. Here we use sequence generator transformation to generate numeric values. Using this transformation we can create unique primary key values, replace missing primary keys or cycle through a sequential range of numbers. Here for this transformation we have two ports. One is next value port and another one is current value port and we cannot edit or delete these ports likewise we cannot add ports to this transformation yeah. here is the image here in this image I am connecting next value port to two target transformations in this table 1 will be generated first means the sequence values will be generated for first, tar first target transformation and then only the sequence will be generated for another table target transformation and coming to current value port we typically only connect the current value port when the next value port is already connected to a downstream transformation or any other transformation and if we cannot we connect the current value port without connecting the next value port the integration services passes a constant value for each and every row means for all the values for that particular column will be the same and when we connect the current value port in a sequence generator transformation the integration services process one row in each block and we can optimize the performance by connecting only the next value port in a mapping and to talk about disadvantage of sequence generator transformation we use this transformation to generate unique primary key values it can cause the performance issues as we require an additional extra transformation that is sequence generator and we can overcome this disadvantage by using an expression transformation by implementing the same logic that is for surrogate keys and now I am implementing the same logic in informatica mapping now I will create a new mapping by using sequence generator transformation yeah I have a source application type and yeah let me check in the database I have application type table in target database I am running the SQL I have two fields one is application ID and another one is application name in this table I don't have any records and I have the same table in source database that is so in source database the table name is application type in this table I have also two fields that is one is application ID and another one is application name. Now I will load this data in target application type table. Here I will pass only the application name and for application ID I will use sequence generator transformation to generate unique primary key values. Here in source analyzer this is the source that is for application type. It is representing means it is pointing source database application type table. And in target trans in target designer also we have application type table it is representing target application type so in mapping designer I am creating a new mapping with the name sequence generator from sources I am taking application type Now I will take a target transformation from targets the, with the name application type. Yeah. And now we will take a sequence generator transformations. This is sequence generator transformation and give the name as sequence underscore application type this is our application id underscore application id so done now i am painting this application name to target transformation application name and 
for application ID port I am taking the next value and pointing to application ID I am going to sequence generated properties here these are the here integration service start the sequence from the start value mean initially the value for the sequence is 1 and here we have a property called increment by means every time for each and every record the value will be incremented by 1 means the series like 1 2 3 and end value end value is nothing but this is the maximum number that that can integration service generate as part of this sequence transformation and the current value is nothing but this is used for current value port and we have an option called cycle if we check this the integration service will repeat the sequence from start value to end value means we can if we give the end value as 10 and cycle option is enabled then the sequence will be always repeated from 1 to 10 and the next one is the number of cached values here the values are generated each time a session runs and next one is reset if the reset is enabled for each and every session run the sequence will be start from start value and end by this end value if this is disabled the end value of the sequence data transformation will be stored here end value is nothing but the maximum sequence that is generated as part of this mapping run that value will be stored in a integration service and in the next session run the maximum value will be used and it will be incremented by one for the next series that is nothing but next series of sequence so nothing but in a single mapping run we here we have enabled reset option and in a single mapping run in, a in our target table nothing but in our source we have 10 records and the 10 records are loading in loaded into the target table here the sequence for application id is 1 to 10 and here we have enabled the reset option and we have complete we have closed the session and we have started a new session and again we run the same mapping then here the values for this application id is nothing but again it will start the value from one only means here the here we are resetting the maximum value of sequence generator transformation if this is not enabled then sequence generator will use the maximum value which is previously loaded into the target transformation based on that value it will continue the sequence here this is the use of reset option so i am saving the mapping now i will create a session for this mapping s underscore m underscore sequence generator i am associating this session to m underscore sequence generator mapping I am going to session properties. I am editing the database connection. Connection. I am changing this. Target connection to target database. And here this is a source source called for application type database connection. I am changing it to source. And this is a source connection value that is for source. And this is the target connection value. And I am setting it to target and ok and I am creating a workflow for this going to workflows create workflow w underscore sequence underscore generator I am taking this session and joining these two using line task I am creating a session now I will run this session Sorry, I will run this mapping. Select the start workflow. In monitor, we can observe the session run status. Here, session run successfully. If you go into the session log, we can see in 
source we have seven records and these are loaded into the target transformation we will face the same in source and up target databases here this is the source database I am running the SQL here we are getting seven records and now I am running the same in target database previously in target database we don't have any records now in our target database we have seven records means the source seven records are loaded into this target database here application ID we have given the sequence so in this seven records are loaded so if you run the same session again the same application name will be loaded and application ID will be different like application ID will start from 8 so now I am running the same session how you started the task here it ran successfully now I am running the same SQL in target database here we can observe application ID start by 8 that is the max next that is it is incremented by 1 with for the maximum application ID which was previously loaded so it is set to 14 now I am going to the session properties in sequence generated properties here the reset option is not enabled if I enable this reset option integration service will reset the maximum value of that application ID to its start value means after this reset if we run the same mapping in a new session the application ID value will be start by start value that is 1 however I have a primary key constraint on my target table application ID it will validate the primary key constraint that is application ID hence the session will load the duplicate records nothing but duplicated application ID into the dummy file so no record will be loaded into the target table means that records were rejected thank you